Hi everyone, Adam here. Today we're looking at a Lego board game. Lego set 3843 Ramsey's Pyramid. This was originally released in 2009. Uh, it contains 217 pieces and 13 of the micro figures that you see around the board here. Uh, overall, it was interesting to sort of try out this, uh, this board game, not something that uh, we've had a lot of experience with with our Lego and that, uh, but it was quite an enjoyable experience for me and my son. The, uh, it's fun to assemble the, the board itself. There's a lot of interesting pieces. Uh, obviously, we're big fans of all of the micro figures, the four that you get for your player controlled pieces, the mummies and then King, Ram uh, King Ramses uh, himself at the top there, who you're trying to defeat. The, another big uh, selling point, we really like the, the die that you construct. Uh, comes with the pieces that can pop off and you can put anything on here. But the uh, the pieces they give you to put on here, there's actually four different types of uh, moves or tiles that you can end up rolling. There's the the plain two dots, uh, which lets you move around the base of the pyramid or up towards the top of the pyramid. There is the two with the black triangle, uh, which lets you take a colored crystal from another player. Uh, and then move two spaces. There is the uh, the rotate the pyramid and uh, move one space. And finally, there is the uh, move the mummies and then move three spaces. Uh, and this is actually the tile that you need to roll uh, to beat Ramses at the end of the game when you get your piece up to the top of the the pyramid. Uh, other cool pieces that are in this set, uh, big fan of the, the scorpion piece. So there's the, the black scorpion that is on the outside of the pyramid. And then inside the pyramid, there is actually a, uh, a golden scorpion that you can see, see down in there. So that is another cool piece that we're uh, excited to have in our collection now. The, as you can see, the pyramid can be uh, disassembled layer by layer. The, I think the construction is actually pretty interesting for the, the pyramid. The, uh, the right angle pieces here uh, allow it to lock in to the layer below. Uh, and so it doesn't slide around. Um, but it is easy to remove and it's important to be able to remove layer by layer because when you get that rotate the pyramid uh, tile, you can actually rotate any of the levels uh, and based on which level you rotate, then every level above it rotates the same amount. The So to start the game, uh, you can have two to four players. They say that it's recommended ages of eight plus. Uh, Alex, my son, is six and a half and he played it without any issue. Uh, and then they give the guideline of 20 to 40 minutes for the game. The So to start off, uh, you play, you roll the die and you're moving your characters around the brown squares around the base of the pyramid. Once you complete one loop of the pyramid, then you're able to move up to the top of the pyramid. As you're moving around the base, you're collecting these colored crystals. Based on the colored crystals that you have, that allows you to move to layers of the uh, pyramid later in the game, if you have that matching color. If you don't have the matching color for the layer of the pyramid that you're trying to move to, you have to uh, guess what color of uh, jewel is underneath the secret temple uh, cover. And if you guess correctly, then you get to move to the layer that you're trying to go to. If you guess uh, incorrectly, your turn is over. The And so the other thing of note is 
obviously these mummies start to move down based on the rolling of the, the mummy tile. Uh, they come down one at a time, but once they've moved off that top layer, every time you roll that mummy uh, tile, all existing ones that are off the top move down one in addition to a new one starting to move down the pyramid. So things can get a little hectic and chaotic. You can't have a mummy land on the same level that you're on. Uh, it results in you getting knocked off the pyramid down to the base again. Uh, but the idea basically is that you need to end up on this uh, second top layer uh, looking at Ramses without uh, a mummy uh, in your direct path and then you need to while you're at that level you need to roll this tile and then you win the game. Uh, so ultimately fairly straightforward but there's actually a lot of strategy that goes on especially with the more players that you have. Um, but Overall, uh, my son and I were very happy uh, with the game. It was a fun, fun little build uh, that gave us some new thoughts on how to make pyramid-shaped uh, builds when we're doing stuff on, with our own uh, our own creations. And the it was a fun game to play, and we will play it. We'll play it several more times. Uh, and as they mentioned in the instruction book, you can change up the rules and sort of craft the game. Uh, based on your own ideas and desires and that. So I'm sure uh, my son will be taking this and sort of going off in some different directions with some of his own ideas for how the game could be played or other games that could be uh, based off this as well. So overall, really happy with this set. A lot of interesting pieces, as I mentioned, come with it uh, and a fun game to play in the end as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can keep up to date on all our latest reviews and uh, builds that we're doing and look forward to hearing your comments. Thanks. Bye.